Well, hey guys, it is uh, Thursday, the what, 17th. Uh, got laid off on Tuesday, so Tuesday was my last day, and um, since I think I've got some time now, I'll head on out, head on out somewhere. The first thing I gotta do is go over the truck real good, and make sure everything's cool, you know. Uh, yeah. Rotate the tires. I put on some miles since I put these tires on. A lot of highway miles. That's what I'm doing right now. So, Discover ST Maxes front and rears. Damn dogs. Very aggressive all terrains. Uh, this is the front, this is the rear. I'm just switching them over so they wear out evenly. They're actually wearing out very good in the front. I do keep this truck aligned. So, uh, but you know what? The rears only go around and around, forward and backwards. Remember that. And the fronts are the ones that go around corners, you know. As they're rolling along, you're steering it. So you got different forces acting on the front and the rear. And I can tell slightly, yeah, the corners are like a little rounded off, whereas these are nice and sharp. Uh, they are wearing nice and even though, side to side, you know what I mean? Jelly bean. So this is where I'm at. I'm just checking my front end while I got the tire off. And uh, first of all, the brake pads are wearing even. Rotors look okay. Probably gonna have to be turned on the next brake change. You can feel a little lip right here. Um, yeah, these things are, are kind of stiff to change by hand, especially when the tire's on. So what I got is a little wrench that fits on there, a little box wrench. I forgot what size this is, maybe a three-quarter. And then I can turn these things. Uh, that's what I was thinking of getting that remote kit getting two more ranchos for the rear and then that remote kit where you can adjust it from the inside of the truck without getting off and crawling under your truck because uh, I think right now they're set a little too light for off-roading they have to be stiffened up a bit to keep the suspension from bottoming out and topping and controlling the spring is what you want everything else looks pretty good on here um, except the boot. I see my boot back here. Damn it. The grease is leaking out of here. Now, how bad is it? I don't know. I've never had one of these trucks with boots before. I mean, it's not ripped up in pieces. But it does look wet. I mean, is this gear oil coming out of here or is this just grease? This is tough trying to operate the camera with one hand and cleaning the freaking thing with the other one. See, I don't see any rips in there. Oh, maybe that's it right there. Yeah, see that? Yeah, see that? Is that gear oil? So is this differential oil coming out here? I don't know. That bows. How hard is it to replace this thing? Do I gotta pull the whole axle off? Pull the steering knuckle off. Jeez Louise. Let's see if I can give a little zoom in there. Auto focus. Come on, stupid thing, focus. See right there? It's not that bad. It's gonna get worse though. And then where's the where's the oil coming from? All right, so checked out the front end of the Tacoma. Everything looks okay. 
I do get a little vibration when making a right hand turn, but I can't find any play in the wheels. You know, like a wheel bearing maybe? Hmm. So, let's see. Yeah, so. Anyway, uh, I did have that one CV boot that's leaking. And I've got a, a lower shock bolt that was loose. Strut, the right front strut. So I tighten that up, but the bushing might be damaged by now. I'm not sure. Nothing I can do about it right now. It's just we'll tighten it up and hopefully it, it's not going to fall off. I ain't got to worry about nothing like that. It just might bang around a little bit. So I'm, I'm looking at the drive shaft now and um, I noticed that the center bearing, which I replaced recently, wasn't quite squared up on there. It was kind of tweaked. In other words, I had... Oh boy, let me zoom out here. There you go. Sorry about that. I had more of a gap on one side than the other, so... Loosen these bolts up and tighten them back up with the impact. But I was wondering how tight should these be? Um, I looked at my book and it only says 27 foot pounds. Like, holy cow, that's not a whole lot, you know? Hmm. So, anyway, they're tight, but I'm going to double check them in the torque wrench. 27 foot pounds isn't a whole lot. Um, yeah, this is a little tweaked, and uh, it could be that I put it in that way. I don't remember, you know, but you got to check these little things. You know, it looks real easy to change this out or to reinstall it, you know, tighten the two bolts and you're done, but make sure it's straight. These holes in this bracket here are, are, are slotted on the side, so it will adjust. Maybe I tightened it up and didn't check it out thoroughly, and it, it will twist. It will want to twist as you tighten these bolts up, especially with the impact wrench. So this time I took my time, did it slow, tried to get it even. Now even this doesn't look even, because see I got more of a gap on this bolt than I got on this bolt. But it's even here on the drive shaft, so I, that's what it is. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to grease the U-joints, and here's the fittings that came with these U-joints. I don't like these kind, but that's what it is. I got them on the front. Yeah, that's the aftermarket. And here's the other aftermarket right here. Needs a special adapter for that, which I have. And then on the rear, here's the factory spicer with the little Zerk fitting on there. So what I did was I cleaned them off real good with some brake cleaner. Cause you don't, if there's any dirt on there, you don't want to push the dirt into your heat joint. That's no good. All right, so I got everything greased up and uh, uh, sorry, I couldn't hold the camera and grease the fittings at the same time. <coughs> it was kind of messy. But uh, in case you're wondering what the seals look like, I'll give you a quick look at that and uh, because I do got the new joints and I got the old joints in here, so. This is one of the new U joints right here, right? This up here, or right, right there, on my thumb, is the rubber seal on there. So, like I said, there's some old time off rotors. I'll tell you to squeeze all the grease in there. Put new fresh grease in there until it squeezes out the seals. Now is that proper? I don't know. Sounds logical, but are you breaking the seals when you do that? I don't know. Alright, I was trying to make this a quick video. Anyway, I looked it up on, uh, I looked up greasing new joints on YouTube and, um, wind. Wind isn't helping. And Spicer does have a video on grease and U-joints. Pretty cool. It shows like a, uh, I guess a glass U-joint. And they squirt grease in. And you can see, of course, the grease squirting out. 
and they say to pump it full of grease until the old grease comes out and or air or whatever else is in there and it should come out evenly amongst all four caps hmm so I just got back from uh, took it for a ride and uh, re-greased them again uh, squ squirted some more grease in there till I got a bunch of black grease coming out so hopefully that does it. It didn't come out even though. I got one that's had a little and I had another one that had a lot of grease come out of, of one cap. You know, there's four caps on here. So. so anyway, I'll try to include that on here. I got other things to do. Like I said, I didn't want to make this a uh, all-day project. Uh, so that's all for right now. And hopefully I'll be able to take off sometime soon. Weekend's coming up. We'll see.